There's nothing worse than feeling depressed, but by increasing mental health awareness, we help to increase the chances of people getting help while decreasing the stigma that still surrounds it today. But the reality is depression and mental health is a complex subject to break down. Few, when they're hit with negative waves of emotion, whether it be aggression or apathy, stop and ask themselves, what is the link between my diet and my depression? Could my diet, in fact, be making me depressed? You see, your nutrition plays a very real role in your mental health. So in this video, I'm going to step you through the five ways your diet could be making you depressed and give you some simple steps to start addressing it immediately. Hi, I'm Ben Angel, and I teach people how to biohack their way back to health. Now, before we dive in here, like, subscribe, and click the link below to make sure that you join thousands of others who've already downloaded my brand new book, Mind Control, to learn how to biohack their gut, mind and mood through the gut brain axis. I've been very public about my own battles with depression over the past few years, especially through my book Unstoppable. We've also been able to help tens of thousands of people with unexplained depression dismantle their depression and biohack their way back to health. And part of that conversation begins by understanding that there are both psychological and biological components to depression. So in this video, we're going to focus on the biological components because they're simply not covered enough. Kicking off with number one, nutritional deficiencies. Nutritional deficiencies and gut imbalances can mimic psychological disorders such as depression as well as anxiety. And this is one reason why many people suffer. Instead of addressing that root cause, they start blaming themselves for being tired, not having enough energy or motivation without realizing that they're not giving their body and brain the fuel that it actually needs to function at its best. It's like a mobile phone with a flat battery, but it's in power saving mode, which is going to limit your ability to have and maintain energetic as well as emotional control. Number two, gut bacteria. Gut bacteria are actually in charge of the reaping, digestion, and utilization of nutrients from your food. If you're lacking specific strains, it doesn't matter how well you eat, you won't feel any better. People with depression have altered gut bacteria, and clinical studies have shown that taking probiotics regularly can reduce depression and even social anxiety. And this is achieved by consuming proven mood enhancing strains of probiotics to reduce the symptoms of depression and even brain fog. Three, junk food. Junk food, we all love it, but unfortunately it has an inflammatory effect on the brain that can even lead to violent tendencies in extreme cases. It also triggers brain fog. If you find yourself becoming forgetful, you're stumbling over your words, and your head feels hazy, this is a possible cause which is worsening your symptoms of depression. It's important to point out that inflammation in your body causes it to strip itself of essential vitamins and minerals that actually combat stress. When they become depleted, they impact the production of your hormones, causing the brain to slow down and the information highways of the receptors to become damaged. Four, caffeine intoxication. Caffeine intoxication can incur with the ingestion of as little as 250 milligrams of caffeine, and it can lead to depression, anxiety, and yes, even psychosis. When you're in a low mood, you may be likely to reach for this psychoactive substance for a pick-me-up. When you come crashing down, you come down hard. And I'm going to cover this in an upcoming video here on my YouTube channel. But if you're currently struggling with depression and anxiety, at least, at least start by halving how much you're having on a daily basis until you can totally stop having it for a few weeks or even a few months to see if that has any effect on your symptoms. And finally, five, a lack of gut microbial diversity can result in fewer neurotransmitters being produced that improve your mood, including serotonin as well as dopamine. You require very specific microbial strains to actually produce them, and researchers have documented which ones, which ties us straight back into your diet. If it's lacking fresh, whole foods and is high in sugar and carbs, which feeds bad bacteria, it's going to cause a gut imbalance, further worsening your symptoms of depression as well as anxiety. So to recap, we've covered nutritional deficiencies, gut bacteria, 
inflammation, caffeine intoxication, and microbial diversity to aid in the production of key neurotransmitters that are going to make you feel better. So the next time you're feeling like life is too much, you're overwhelmed with anxiety and exhaustion, I want you to stop and consider how is your diet affecting your mental health? And that simply begins with awareness. Here's something that I want you to do. Start small. Keep a food journal and take note just how much caffeine, sugar, and junk food that you're consuming on a daily or weekly basis. Add anti-inflammatory foods to your diet and take a comprehensive multivitamin as a simple start. The reality is you're most likely already overwhelmed. You don't want to overcomplicate things or you could risk regressing. Often people will blame a lack of willpower for not feeling their best. But the reality is even if you have recently been through a traumatic stressful event like most of us have been in the past couple of years, your diet can help to stabilize your energy and mood or it can amplify those negative emotions by stripping your brain of what it needs to psychologically process and emotionally process those stressful events. If you would like some more detailed help on this, I'm also running an online workshop entitled The Biohacker's Guide to Dismantling Depression, in which you'll use our online tool to find out what's causing your depression, brain fog, low energy and mood. And then I'll step you through a comprehensive and personalized approach to getting your body, brain and life back. Make sure you check out the details below because it is filling fast. But while you're at it, be sure to grab a copy of my latest book, Mind Control, to learn how to heal your gut, mind and mood. Finally, hit like, subscribe, be sure to drop me a comment below to help support this YouTube channel. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.